Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Rust Test Remote Desktop Software. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we all know with the current technology that we have right now, it is really important to be, to be connected with different people, especially if you have relatives online that you want to help with basically organizing their desktop. Well, if you are familiar with other softwares like for example, AnyDesk or TeamViewer, those softwares actually offers you the capabilities of actually using the software for you to basically touch or control the PC of the other user on a different location. Now, in this case, we'll be introducing to you Rustdesk. Now, Rustdesk is an open source software wherein you'll be able to start using it for free. So meaning you don't have to pay anything to start using their services for you to basically connect to different people or manage their desktop. Now, first thing we need to do here is we need to visit first their website. So this is going to be rustdesk.com. Go to any browser that you have, just type in rustdesk.com and you should be able to see their main homepage here. Now, on their homepage, you should be able to see different information about the software itself. Now, in this case, it's going to be an open source alternative to TeamViewer, like what we said before. Now, we also have the section here that says join community. So there are a lot of people who are using REST Desk here. So if you want to learn more on how to use it or just basically connecting to different people on uh, basically their community, connecting their community, uh, you could go ahead and just uh, join the GitHub discussion here or Discord, or even Reddit. Now, in this case, they have the different uh, information here as well. So who are using self-hosting? So uh, currently, there are 37%, which is ID support, 25% IT administration, remote work is 25%, and industrial and others, which is 9%. So as you can see, it's actually really important. So if you need, uh, if you want to provide support or even help people on some techno technological aspects on their computers, well, you could use Rust Desk here. Now, in this case, there are going to be different features for Rust Desk. So one of those is works on Windows, Macs, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and web. So it is supported on many uh, platforms or in many devices. So maybe on Mac OS, Windows, Android, or web, you could start using their services. Now, it actually supports VP8, VP9, AV1 software codecs, and H264, H265 hardware codecs. Now, you also have the own your data easy set up your self-hosting solution on your infrastructure. Now we also have the P2P connection, end-to-end -end encryption based on an ACI. Now there are going to be a lot of uh, features that is available here and at the very bottom you should be able to see additional links if you want to view them. Now they have docs so if you want to read further on Rust Desk or how to actually manage them you could go ahead and do this or go to the doc section. Now if you want to uh, if you want support on the software itself, you could go to support here. And we also have the other links here, which includes releases, FAQ, pricing, about us, careers, open source roadmap, and web client. Now, if you want to use Rush Desk on your web client, you could use the web client here. So in this case, just click on web client here. It's going to basically load this up. Now, in this case, what we need to do here is if they're using a, a software, so you just need to basically enter the remote ID here and they'll be you'll be able to basically access that specific uh, computer or machine. Now in this case, we want to exit this one because we'll be using the actual software itself. So in this case, we want to go to the very top here and from here, what we need to do first is we need to view the pricing for it. So this top section, go ahead and open up pricing here. It's going to load up another page. And as you can see, by default, the uh, Rust Desk application itself is going to be zero dollars a month. So these are the going to be the features that is available to you. So it's actually you have the basics here, so you don't have to worry on actually upgrading this one. But if you want to access additional features regarding their software, well, you might want to try the personal self-hosting plan here or the business self-hosting plan here, which is 9.90 for the personal one and business is 19.90 a month, which is built annually for both.
Now, as you can see, depending on what plan that you get here, you'll be able to access different features. Also, they have the customized plan here. So if you only want to provide a number of licenses for users, like for example, you only need 20 licenses for 20 people, you could use uh, the 20 here or the number of managed devices, which is 500 if you want that. Now, in this case, since we only want to use the free version here, you could go ahead and click on the get started here. So you go ahead and click on it. It's going to load up the doc uh, documentation here, which actually gives you the option to start installing it. But in this case, this is going to be kind of hard because there's going to be a lot of things that you need to access here as you can see port requirements basic setup test ports are open and a lot more so especially if you're not familiar on how to actually navigate to this specific uh, installations or even using the command prompt here or the shell here it could kind of be hard for you but in this case, I'll be showing you on a different way, which is a lot simpler than the, the we, what we see here. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to rustdesk.com, which is the main UI here. And what you need to do here, instead of go to pricing, you need to click on download app here. It's going to load up GitHub. And from here, what we need to do is just click on the Windows option here that you see. Now, it's going to start the download process. So make sure that you actually allow the download here. So once the download is complete, you can go ahead and click on it click on run and that should actually start the installation. Now in this case, what we need to do is just follow the steps for us to actually start the uh, installation. And once you've done that, as you can see, it is now open. Now using Rustless is actually pretty easy. So it's very a direct a way of using it. So if, if in this case, if you want to request access, like if you want someone to actually access your PC, what you need to do here is you just need to provide them the ID here that you see here. So what we need, what we they need to do here is just basically paste your ID in this section here. And from there, just click on connect and just provide them the one time password here as well. Now, once they've done that, they will be able to access your PC. Now, in this case, if you want to access someone's uh, computer or access their PC, what you need to do here is you need to go to the ID section. So make sure that you ask for their ID here. And from then, you need to ask for their password as well. So once you hit on connect, you just need to enter the password and you should be able to access their PC. And from then on, you should be able to control their PC. Now, they also have the option here that says transfer. So in this case, you want to, if you want to transfer files, you can go ahead and use their options as well. Now, uh, just a few information regarding uh, Rust Desk here. So Rust Desk, since it is an open source software, anyone can actually use this. So it is recommended that you only accept or only share your details, your password, as well as your ID to trusted sources or trusted people because sometimes people might actually scam you or get money from you now in this case when you actually visit the github section here it's going to say you may be being scammed if you are on the phone with someone and you do not know and trust who has asked you to to install hostess here do not install and hang up immediately now in this case some uh, scammers would actually start using this as a means to to be uh in getting or scamming people, which is kind of sad with the free technology here, they're using it for the wrong reasons. Now, in this case, make sure that you protect yourself. Don't just blindly share your ID or your password to anyone so that you'll be able to protect yourself online. But yeah, so this one is actually pretty easy. Using Rustless is pretty easy, but that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.